So today I will be reviewing Shaws of Sunset Season 6, Episode 1, Season In this premiere. season, everybody's back, which is good, because we don't have to waste our time getting to know new people. All we can do is pick up where we left off. So let's do it. So the episode opens up with Mercedes, MJ. Now, MJ is the lovable crazy person. She's a, she's a little crazy person. She's, she's a little psycho. You know, I, I like her. You know, uh, she's very fun to watch. Very fun to watch. But, you know, she's a little nuts. And I was just wondering, you know, just because she's a little nuts, is she going to remain nuts for the rest of her life? Can nut, peop, nut jobs be reformed? I'm just, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, because she, she seems to be getting worse, okay? But let's start at the beginning. Okay, so her and Tommy have moved in together, okay? That's good news, isn't it? They moved into the same building as her mom, Vita. See what I'm talking about? She's nuts. She's nuts. And uh, we all know how her and Vita's relationship is, okay? And then Tommy, who I love, because he doesn't put up with the nonsense. He does not put up with the nutness. Like, he says enough of the nuts. He'll go off on Mercedes when she's acting crazy. Like, enough, MJ. Shut up. He's a much welcome <laughs> addition to the show. Like, I really like Tommy. Nuts. And to make matters even better for me and my TV watching, he does not take any crap from Vita. Okay? <laughs> he just, he does he does it. He does it. So, She's over at, uh, visiting her daughter because now she lives in the same building. So, you know, I'm going to assume that's going to be more vi visits. So he's going to lay down the law. You know, he'll be waking up in the morning and he to be in the kitchen cooking and telling him, you know, why are you waking up so late? You don't work late? No, he has to lay down the law. So Vita's v uh, visiting now that she lives in the same building. This is going to be a mess. This is going to be a mess. And she notices that uh, MJ's not the best housekeeper. You know, the place is a mess. So she says, what is all this doing in the floor? You know, this is a mess. Tommy jumps in, okay? Like, it's, it's, it's must-see TV. He jumps in. What? What everything that's going on with her daughter? With your, uh, her dad's in the hospital? Everything? You're worried about how, how the place looks? He went off. And poor little Vita. Now, I usually don't feel sorry for Vita. Because she needs to be told sometimes to pipe down. A.K.A. Shut the hell up. Just shut up, Vita. But I felt a little bad for her because she sat there stunned. He talked to me like this. You don't let him talk to me like this. But he's the perfect addition to the family because, you know, MJ's not going to do anything. MJ will sit there and take it and then go home and cry. Well, in this case, go downstairs and cry. You know, I'm loving Tommy. Now, he's the perfect addition. Now, but that doesn't help her, um, MJ's, you know, nut job problem she's a nut job so she really wants a baby and she wants it in a bad way like she's planning full steam ahead i want a baby she's got it all pictured out in her head she's just almost obsessive with it you know she's like this obsessive baby obsessive fever and you know any kind of obsession can lead to a mental illness if it isn't checked i always often wonder can nut jobs be reformed? I'm gonna say no, but you know, it doesn't hurt to try. So that leads me to Gigi. <laughs> Gigi. Look, Gigi knows she's a nut job. She wouldn't be offended if she heard someone calling her a nut job. She knows she's a nut job. So remember, she made a big ass mess last year. She lied on her good friend Reza, said he had a sex tape out. This put some kind of strain on him and Adam, who I love. I'm going to talk about Adam in a minute. I love him. And uh, now she's supposed to be, she checked herself in some kind of rehab, okay? And, um, and now she's taking up meditation. <laughs> okay, now she's supposed to be the new improved Gigi. Okay, I'm going to answer my own question. 
I don't buy it. Nut jobs remain nut jobs for the rest of their life. They don't change. They're just degrees of nuttyism. You know, like maybe she's not a 10 anymore, but she's probably an 8. Still a nut job. But, you know, I applaud her efforts. Because if she wants her friends back in her life, and they're not talking to her, by the way, only Mike. Um, if she wants her friends back in her life, she's got to do something drastic. So why not? Pretend like you're reformed. So I applaud the effort, but I don't think it, you know, it's gonna work. I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm what you call a realist. Next, we have Asta. Asta had some great news. She was pregnant with Jermaine Jackson Jr.'s baby. Now, one of the reasons, now, Asta and NJ are not speaking. Because MJ says yeah, she's not real, she hides things, you know, and she was just like nitpicky until I thought about it. She has a point. Why don't we get to see Jermaine on TV? Like, we want to know what's going on. Like, we want to go to Calabasas to the Jackson Estate. We want to know what's going on. Why can't we see all of Asa's life? Like, why is it just you tell us what Jermaine is saying? Like, we want to see what he's saying. So, you know, even though Nut Job, um... MJ is loony at times. She might have a point, Asa. I mean, you're so happy about your baby and your mom is ecstatic. And I just want to know, well, is Jermaine happy? Well, like, we want, we want to know. We don't want to see it secondhand. Like, is that fair? Like, Mike gets to get a divorce on television and, and we get to see how crazy Vita is and, you know, how drunk Gigi can get. But we don't get to see much of Asa, only the good parts. Now, I don't know if this is why I like you so much, because you're not showing me your dirt. But I really like you, but I really think that we need to see more of Asa's story. Like, you don't get to pick and choose. You know, if you choose to be on television, you should tell it all. Tell it all. Just like that damn nut job, um... MJ, we're going to get back to her in a minute. Then there's my boy Reza and Adam. Now, I really, really, really like Adam. He has made an honest man out of Reza. But, you know, he's got baby fever too. And I think it's scaring Reza a little bit. Reza is the funniest person on the show. He still got the 70s porn star mustache, you know. He knows it looks like he looks like a 70s sports star, but he is funny as hell. He's still friends with everybody with the exception of nut job Gigi. Now, he's not saying he's not friends with her. He said, I'm not ready to be around her yet. Because you know, it takes a lot of work to be around Golanessa. You know, it's a lot going on. But I'm glad he's back. I'm glad um Adam's making an honest man out of him. Because, you know, a couple episodes ago, you know, Reza was really tripping when he wasn't sure if he wanted to marry Adam. And, you know, he was just on the wild. He was just on the wild. But now he is a happily married man. So that's good. And this season, they've made Sher Sher Shervin a uh, main cast member now. And he's still dating that Australian girl. Um, I like Shervin. He is so cute. He's like Mike, but a little bit better. He's like a little bit cuter than Mike, but I really like him. And he's still dating the Aussie. I can't think that's what you call people from Australia. And he's still a part of the group. Now, the reason why I think he's a good addition to the show, I mean, he's been on the show, but upgraded to a main cast member is because he's the even... Like, he's the common sense of the group, you know. Asa can't do it all herself. Somebody else needs to be level-headed. That's what he's, he's level-headed. So we got level-headed Shervin back. So that's good. Then we got my boy Mike. You know, it looks like things didn't work out for him and Jessica, which is sad because, you know, he was really, really sad. And, you know, everybody needs somebody. But you really made a really big mistake, Mike. So, you know... When you do someone wrong like that in that kind of way, you know, it's not a given that they forgive. And I guess, uh, like, she wasn't playing with your ass. When she said she was done, she was done. And it was really sad to see how sad you were and everything. But it seems like you're bouncing back. You got an off-the-chain place to live. I mean, 
he's got a nice place. It is nice, nice, nice. So he threw a party, a housewarming party, and it seems like he's bouncing back pretty good. So at this party, everybody shows up, all the friends, and these are a great group of friends. I love watching this show. I really, really do. And Asa comes in, okay? I love Asa. She's like an earthy kind of Egyptian type. I mean, you know, some of her clothes are off, a little off, but she's a nice person. Really earthy. So she comes in and announces to the group that she is preggers. Now, this sends Adam into a tizzy, but a tizzy in a way like, I'm happy for you, I wish it was me. This sends MJ into a tizzy, not in a happy way. She started crying, mm -hmm, I wish it was me. She started getting drunk. Mm -hmm. She acted a fool. Almost to the point where I don't even think she was happy for. I think if she was happy, it was hidden under those layers of envy. Like, it's not a good look to be jealous of your own friends, MJ. You know, maybe you need to go home and talk to Tommy. Maybe he can pull you back down. You know, he wasn't at the party, but you know, you gotta be ashamed of yourself acting like that. Just because Asa has some great news. She's a mommy. And she, this is, this is not a competition. MJ, this is not a competition, but I guess in your head, you know, because, you know, you're nuts. You're thinking, I'm not going to get this. I don't know what jealous and envious people think, but it sure looked a mess. And, oh, damn near embarrassing. So this was the introduction episode. It just shook, caught everybody up on what they were doing. And this is the welcome back. So now... We're going to start getting to some serious storylines. I love this show. I will be here every week. I'm not going to miss it because this is one of my favorite shows. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.